I came from a, a small town in, uh, in the Swansea Valley. I did a, an engineering apprenticeship. Now, I was determined I was going to go into a career in the aircraft industry. And I applied for a job in uh, what is now Rolls-Royce. And so it was about 33 when I was deputy chief designer and that was the time when we started Renishaw. David and I met in the library in uh, Rolls-Royce and uh, he described a, a product that, uh, uh, that he'd invented. I thought, well, here's a person who's obviously bright, obviously um, got the energy to, and wants to do something, so I thought, this is, this is the man I have to try and convince. He showed it to me uh, on the shop floor and um, both of us decided that um, this is a product that we could uh, sell. David's strength is, is that he's a great innovator as well as a d designer. Well, John's strength is always commercial now. He has a great skill of uh, organising things so they can get made. Renshaw started in March 1973 um, and was based in my home. The garage was, was the machine shop, um, dining room, the office, and my fourth bedroom, assembly. So we, we carried on for three years and then subsequently moved to Wooden and Reg in 1976. The areas of science which we are active in is metrology, which is the science of measurement. The first product came about was purely by accident, I think. Um, in my role at Rolls-Royce as Deputy Chief Designer, I was asked to solve a problem that was occurred on the shop floor. And they had a quarter measure machine trying to measure a, a instrumentation pipe of the Concorde engine. The machine they had had a solid probe on the end, so when you actually pushed it against it to contact it to see where to measure it, it pushed it out of the way and of course they couldn't get sensible readings. The way to get accuracy out of the probe was to ha design a probe that when it touches the object, at the instant of touch it would freeze the, the coordinates measurements. And that was achieved by using electrical contacts through a series of contact points within it so that when you touched it, one of them was removed and you processed the signal. We were going to be selling to big companies who had absolutely failed to solve the problem of manufacturing a sensor capable of being used on their machines. So we had no problem whatsoever in introducing the product to these major companies in America, Japan, and indeed the Italy and the UK. Research and development is absolutely crucial uh, to Renshaw. If you have strong patents, you can, you can charge what the product is worth rather than competing with another company which drives the price down. This reward really is, is for, the, for the company and that's what makes me pr really proud. It puts the company in the spotlight. I think uh, people um, l love working here. Um, they come in, in, in the morning, they, they pass the lake, see the ducks and swans, and I think it gives them a good feeling. <laughs>